Hello, my name is Emsas, and this is my commentary track for my debut album, It's a Fake Bike. Man, hear this. Emsas here in the house tonight, spitting bars of the big spars of the movie stars. Man, I be fired down on the competition, get an admission to the petition, I bring out the heat So this one, I think it was the third one that I officially recorded, and I subsequently re-recorded it when I put it onto SoundCloud, because, like, three of the tracks I produced for this album I re-recorded because of... Copyright restrictions with some of the backing tracks I use. Industry, everyone's recycling samples, doing new stuff with old stuff, so it sounds the same. I think I recorded this one immediately after I recorded um, the cover of Step Up. I think the reason for this was because, well, I think the cover was the easiest thing to take care of since the words were already written. Uh, my usual writing process around this time was I'd just figure out the song in a day, and then I'd just sort of uh, mishmash the backing track together based off of how long I needed it to go. For the backing track in this one, I actually based it off of the reanimation version of in the end, released in 2002. Uh, before the redone version, I com did a completely different beat. Um, it's got a completely different key signature as well. Although, I could have feasibly bumped it up, but I didn't want to. I think it sounded a bit better. Hey, go! Think you're all that play the game on the big brain! Hey, go! The Down With The Town was probably my earliest song. Actually, no, I've had something that earlier, but for this album, like, this is the earliest NSAS song, period. And, uh, it, it definitely shows its age when you listen to it compared to my others. Yo. This song is dedicated to the man. I think I wrote the original demo back in 2001. It's based off of... It, it's a tribute to this internet rapper known as T-Dubs. He's famous on the internet for his rap, Mario Be Playing, which I'll show a short clip of right now. Yeah. You wanna play with your Mario game? I had a big Rams as a big tame. Cause Mario might be super, but I'm super duper with a big tuper. Cause no one's gonna hit it like me, cause Mario has a big C. But I got A plus on that test because it's a big mess. Mario might be a super Eventually, the video exploded, and the person who originally uploaded the first song uploaded the rest of the thing, and I basically just nicked bits from all those and just shoved them in there, but made sure they have, like, linking parts that actually made sense. So a lot of it is repurposed older material, but also s spliced with new material, and it's... T-Dubs is kind of one of my major influences, and you can see a lot in my style. The bacon straws deep as cook my egg on my breakfast almost as much as nothing make me So this one this one was actually a gag track. Uh the gag was I'd been to England a lot of times and whenever I go over there I usually try to get like at least one English breakfast a day. I my absolute favorite parts of this uh, it's, are bacon rashers, but American audiences would probably know it as back bacon, but that's not exactly what it is, so. Uh, the gag in this is that there's this one portion of it, which is the baked beans, which typically go on like beans on toast, but overall, in the song, I glorify every other part of it, but the baked beans themselves aren't acknowledged until the very end. In fact, at the end you can also hear a pitched down version of me in the background uh, 
telling me that I blew it and that I need to re-record the thing. Obviously, I didn't because that was all staged. Dr. Leafsy, a very good and cheerful man. Not very. So Leafsy, Leafsy was actually based off of a meme a while back. Uh, Dr. Leafsy is a character from the book Treasure Island. And the meme is based off of a 1998 Soviet animated adaptation of the book, specifically. In that version, he's depicted as more of a Giga Chad esque figure. Uh, he's interpreted as like optimistic, quick to laugh, and just enthusiastic. And uh, he's also very experienced in combat. And just overall, just a jovial character, while also maintaining a professional outlook. Uh, the meme blew up in 2022 when someone added this song Why Not by Ghostface Playa to a loop of Leavesy walking. <laughs> In fact, I'm on the Know Your Meme page right now. The maximum time it blew up was uh, September of 2022, so I kind of missed the punch on it by that point. I, it was already on its downward spiral by that point, but it was it was fun while it lasted. And uh, I also re-recorded that one for the SoundCloud release, which that later included a fun random with limitations plus. Still, who can work a rhyme like this? Take it to you every time like this! Who can work a rhyme so Step Up is actually a song by Linkin Park back when they were called Hybrid Fury. It was a... They, they released it on their self-titled EP back in 1999. But I liked it so much that I wanted to try and do a cover of it because it was just really good. And eventually I did just that. This was another one I re-recorded because I kind of, well, I used the original backing track while still keeping in the pre-recorded bits, but I ultimately thought that my first one was a bit meh in terms of it. The redone version is actually faster than the original and actually has a bit more of a dance track feel to it. Almost like if I polished it up more, it could easily be like, you know, one of those no copyright music things that people use in their outros. You know, that that type of stuff. Post-production update. This is a bit after the fact since I recorded this back in 2023, and I put my stuff on streaming in 2024. So when I was distributing my stuff on streaming services, I decided not to publish the covers, and instead I went through my back catalog to try and find rare and obscure unfinished material. I found quite a bunch. The song I replaced Step Up with is a Portal-inspired song called Science is Awesome, and it was meant to be as part of a Portal mod, but I never finished it. Man, my analog don't like no dirty demagogue, run up and get the dialogue, you can play my phone. Sausage Man was the final track for the album, but it wasn't the final track that I recorded. It, in fact, I think on my first tour I did all the songs off of that in recording order. I, I think, uh, it was the fifth song you recorded. The, the original draft of it was completely different to it. Um, I posted those original lyrics in, like, a TikTok and stuff as, like, a teaser for it, but they never actually manifested into anything. But the idea behind it was that there was no idea. It was meant to sort of just be a bit more of a mishmash of different things. It's just overall, it's kind of abstract with me jumping from one thing to the next, and it never really 
sets into place fully, but it's it's still overall a pretty decent track. You can say what you want to say about me, and you'll have your excuses, but my mind's clear to say something or nothing that'll work. And now I'm back. I think my favorite part was it, my favorite part was actually a glitch with the vocals, um, right at the beginning and stuff. They come out as very quiet and stuff, but shortly after that, after they increase to the normal volume, I literally say you complain about volume, uh, almost as if like I'm talking to the people who are like, hey, I can't hear your voice, like, what? oh, you got me. Overall, I'd say that It's a Fake Bike was a good way to start off my career. I'm not really a fan of most of the songs off of it looking back on it, but it, it's a nice way to get things started. Uh, I'll be posting a commentary for my sophomore album, Random With Limitations, later. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>